Hello, hello, hello. It's Ramya and this is your weekly energy reading for the first week of July. Uh, sorry, what was that? Did you say I'm looking different today? Really? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm actually dressed in a sari because I'm off to a community event um, that I'm really looking forward to. Um, yeah, it's going to be good fun. Uh, so today I'm going to use the Archangel Power Tarot cards. And as every week, I'm going to shuffle them and pray that the advice that you most need to hear comes through. Um, I was having a really nice discussion with uh, one of my clients this week and um, she basically wanted to know why I call these energy readings and not tarot card readings. Um, and the reason is, well, if, you're, if you have the same question, the reason is that my, I don't, well, I would prefer my readings not to be taken as predictive to say this is what's going to happen. They're more a sense of the energy that's going to come your way. Uh, sometimes it's a heads up to say that, you know, you need to relook something, you need to relook your plans. Uh, so then when you come arrive at that point, you, you sort of hear my voice in your head to say, you know, you need to relook your plans. But it's not to say, oh, your plans are going to go wrong or anything predictive at all like that. So, um, yeah, so I hope they are helpful to you in giving you the heads up of what's coming as opposed to uh, telling you how to deal with it and what's going to happen. Because you, you decide your own future, don't you? Right. Oh, we've got one card here. It's such a beautiful sunny day here in England. So if you hear music, just know that it's not me. It's my neighbor having a garden party. All right for some. And we've got card number three. Right, let's see what's in store for us. Wow, right, okay, so for the beginning of the week, we have the page of Gabriel. Now the page of Gabriel, again, Gabriel has a lot to do with creatively expressing yourself. It could be in um, documents, blog posts, um, whatever, you know, even creatively voicing yourself. Um, also, it is a brilliant... My eyes are really drawn to this man with this light that he's got a lantern and it's a great time to shine your light. So come the beginning of the week, I feel whatever comes your way, you, you know, make use of this energy and this light that's going to shine, that, that is shining right through you because no matter, you know, you will have all it needs or you will, no, you do have all it needs. Uh, to to shine. Um, I also feel it is a it would be a great time to embrace new opportunities. So if you have any ideas, I mean Archangel Gabriel is again all about creativity, communication. So you know if you have any creative hits, go with them because the energy is so right that it will support you shine your light. So that's what we have for the beginning of the week. Oh, it sounds so exciting. Um, for the middle of the week, we've got the Six of Ariel. Now, the Six of Ariel is, again, it's just full of magic. I um, Can you see all these fruits? There are apples there on the baskets behind. And for me, this card is a really abundant card. Oh my God, the energies are so amazing for next week. Um, and it, it talks about how whatever our needs are, they get fulfilled in the most magical ways. So um, when I say magical ways, it could be that you might meet someone and uh, say if you're looking for a relationship, it could be that you meet someone, a new friend, even if it's not a romantic partnership. Um, you could also 
um, say you're looking for a new role or you're looking for some sort of inspiration, know that inspiration is going to come to you because the the, the energies and the and, you know the, the feel of it is um, just really magical. I know I've said that before, but I just I find the middle uh, the energies for the middle of the week. Um, quite nice they have like a nice fairy tale feel to it also um, it's a great time to um, to be grateful I feel so um, I mean it's, it, it's always a good time to be grateful for what we have but especially the middle of the week I feel you would either be given an opportunity that you're going to feel ever so grateful for that's just manifested out of the blue or it could be um, a call for you to be grateful for all the things that you have. So if you feel, oh, things are not working out, da 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 then, you know, take a step back and uh, focus on how long you have come, how far you have come on this journey. Um, but yeah, oh gosh, it looks really beautiful. Really, really, really beautiful. And for the end of the week, we have a major arcana. It's the world card. Now, a major arcana is like a big event. These are big things that um, that happen in our life, big incidents um, that come where you know, okay, right, you've completed a cycle. So come um, next weekend, chances are, or it could be, I feel like um, the sense that I get is you will have the sense of this thing, this project or this feeling that you had about something um, is slowly starting to wrap up because the world card talks about a cycle coming to an end and it also talks about happy endings so I remember this card came out a good few months ago <laughs> sorry a good few months ago um, and I remember there was a lot going on in my life and I felt things came to an um, came to an end but it wasn't like you know bam bang and it's done it was just a really beautiful ending to something and um, that's what I feel that's coming up for the end of the week so it's really saying a story because the beginning of the week shine your light be confident for what what it is that you want you'll have brilliant opportunities coming your way the middle of the week really reiterates that with um, with the six of aerial card because it talks about abundance it talks again abundance doesn't necessarily mean money it can be uh, money but it could also but you know when i say every time in a card reading when i say money people think all oh, right i'm going to win the lottery or you know i'm going to get a big lump sum sometimes money could just be you know a discount you know you wanting to buy a pair of shoes and you suddenly find them at half price so you you know it is abundance and it is money and for others it could be love maybe um, you find yourself coming closer together with this other person um, that you didn't uh, didn't feel as a um, as connected to before so you know abundance can be lots of different things uh, depending on where you are on your life in your life path so this is the abundance card this is the card of really mad a really magical time where things happen again you know it's a great time for putting your ideas into practice and also opportunities coming your way and finally the world card to say that some something is coming to an end and um, it's basically a really happy ending I get the sense that this could be a period in your life that you've been waiting for it could be that you you've had a bit of a rough ride and this weekend marks the end of that cycle and slowly but surely you will start to reap the benefits of this ending um yeah that's it uh, that's that's the messages i'm getting i really hope they resonated with you and i hope you have a wonderful week we have um a no moon and uh, not a no moon a new moon and a, a solar eclipse coming up at the beginning of the week so the energies are going to be ever so nurturing make the most of it and make sure to nurture yourself um, again the new moon is in the sign of cancer so it is a lot about nurturing yourself nurturing people around you going within so i do hope you make the most of these energies and i do hope you have a wonderful week ahead until next week Bye.